But that sounds like, yeah, yeah, you know, you see, see, you see what I mean now? You see, th that's what this whole series has been building up to. That, that sounds just like Amelia. I know. <laughs> so was ReZero just me projecting? Maybe, <laughs> maybe, but let me explain the story first. All right. And here we are. Around two years ago, I started a little series called ReZero, and it has been the most emotional roller coaster that I have been on in a while. All right, welcome back to ReZero Season 2, the finale. Yeah, I want to make this intro quick because we're going to be talking about a lot. We're going to be talking about a lot of different stuff at the very end of this video, so. I might as well just make this intro quick as hell. I want to thank whoever has made it to the end of this series. And if you are a new viewer and you just skip to the very end, well, this is not a thank you to you. But this is a thank you to the people who watched every single cringy moment that happened throughout this entire series. And I'm not going to lie, there was a lot of them, but... I want to thank you if you did watch from the first ever video I did on this series. I want to thank you for watching this far. And, you know, being being along for the ride on this journey with me. Yeah, we'll also go over a lot of different stuff in the outro, but I wanted to make this intro quick. I have a lot of different things to say, and I'm going to basically, you know, sum up all my feelings on ReZero. And how it personally connected to me because yeah it's gonna this video is gonna be fucking like what like 45 minutes I, I'm guessing <laughs> so I want to thank you again and you already know my thoughts on this series I'll expand more on it when we get to the end but you you know my thoughts on this series this I would say is my second favorite show of all time what's my first mob psycho okay but we didn't react to that did we <laughs> no we didn't no we didn't but you guys should go watch it definitely but yeah this is one of my favorite shows now i it may not seem like that from the way i react to stuff but yeah this 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 anime did personally connect with me and that's not something i like to say you know but it, 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 it's, it really did, you know? Here we go. We're going to watch the final episode. Again, I want to thank you for watching whatever the fuck this was. Because, I don't know, I always have doubts about stuff that I'm saying or doing. Like, is it going to get a laugh or is it just cringe? I have no idea what if what I'm doing is good. Good content or not. You know, I'm not the viewer, but... Uh, at least some people, you know, found enjoyment in this, and that's good enough, right? So yeah, here we go. Final episode. Yeah, here we go. Final episode. Here we go. For real this time. Emilia-chan. <laughs> Aw, Roswell. Subaru, focus your attention here for now, I suppose. Don't focus on the dead body. <laughs> What kind of weird reaction was that? Yeah, <laughs> calling him Subaru. So cute. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> <laughs> the contract was only signed, and it's one of the great Mabis. The contractor is a novice. It's been 400 years since I was involved in a battle. And? I call it a perfect handicap. Yeah, he's, they're hungry. They are hungry for some lolly meat. <laughs> Amelia, you gonna join us, sir? Let's kick some ass. Let's kick some ass. This is the most hype battle in the series, man. Here we go. Oh fuck. Elminia. Elminia. Minia. 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 All we need to do is gather all the great rabbits here. They may be infinite, but that doesn't mean there's no upper limit, I suppose. 
They can only multiply up to a certain number, which means if we could stop all of them where they hit the max, we could destroy them. The question is how to do it. It's not like the two of us have to solve this alone. Honestly. Act as a decoy while I'm getting ready, I suppose. There's no one in all of Luqua Ni 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 Nika? Luguanica? Bro, I don't know. I don't know, bro. I don't I give up. I give up. Alright, I don't know how to say it. I don't know how to say it, and I never learned how to say it. Don't you worry. There's no one in all of Luca Nika better than me when it comes to being bait for insanely strong enemies. <laughs> Follow me! Follow me! <laughs> Can she hear us? Come on, think of something. Think of something, Amelia. Now, Amelia, trace the line! Look at how confident she is now! Just the reassurance, it's just beautiful! Yes! You guys are fucked now. We got them all! Okay, now your turn to be the star. Great spirit, Beatrice! Aru Shamak. Shamak. They're eating each other! Damn, I didn't know you guys were that hungry. <laughs> They've had to resort to cannibalism. Wow. Just like that? I sent them to an isolated space, much like the Forbidden Library. They'll never be able to come out back out, I suppose. Well, that was quick. Damn, Russell. He's just like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> Apologize. 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 Roswell, apologize. You bastard. I'm not- I'm waiting until you apologize to everyone. Apologize. Apologize. <laughs> we all fought hard for this, didn't we? <laughs> you have nothing to say to the one who just performed such a- You did it! I knew you could. I love you, Biko. <laughs> Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> Wee! Pico's amazing. Pico's the best. Pico for life. <laughs> now it's just time for the wrap up. We did it. Oh. Rest in peace, Akina. You're a bitch till the end. <laughs> it's about time these two, you know, talked about what happened, you know, with Akina. These are probably the only two people who can understand each other. They, 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 they deserve some, they deserve some, uh, what's the word? What is the word? What is the word for, like, resolution? No, that's not the word I'm looking for. It's similar to resolution, but not resolution. They deserve some closure. That's the word. That's the word. Closure. That's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> Took me a while. Yeah, Beatrice and Roswell. They, they definitely deserve some closure on this. I'm sorry, mother. I couldn't keep my promise. Yet you look as if a weight was lifted from your shoulders. You don't seem like it yourself either, I suppose. I thought an encounter with mother was your clan's dearest wish. May I ask something? Eh. Did Subaru-kun turn out to be that person for you? Hmm. <laughs> Subaru is not suited at all for that, I suppose. But that's just fine. I chose Subaru, who's not that person, I suppose. Why? Because when I asked him to be that person for me, he laughed. He insisted that he couldn't make me happier than some stranger I wouldn't even recognize, I suppose. That's quite an arrogant answer. But I don't like how pushy he is. Are you sure about this? You'll never be number one to Subaru Kun. Seem to be mistaken, I suppose. I didn't leave the Forbidden Library because I became his number one. I left because I wanted to make Subaru my number one. No matter how old you get, you never change. You're just like back then. You and I really haven't spoken enough, have we? Not in all the time since we were with Teacher. Teacher? You're... Roswa? 
I've always been Roswell. No, that's not what I meant. I was joking. I am. I'm Roswell, Beatrice. You can't mean soul transcription? From Mother's Pursuit of Immortality? But that failed. The soul of another will not take hold in an empty vessel. So rather than use someone else, you need to prepare a vessel that has high affinity with the soul. Would you curse me as an inhuman monster? So she couldn't recognize him this whole time? He means that he's the original Roswell. I, I get it, I get it. So she didn't know that it was the original Roswell. Same man, new body, right? Kneel down there, I suppose. Right here? Brace yourself. She gonna kick him? <laughs> He's had that coming. You had that coming, man. Two seasons, bro. Do more. Beatrice, hit him more. <laughs> Is that to be a show of your contempt? <laughs> no. I neither know nor care why you want to be reprimanded. That's obvious payback for burning down the Forbidden Library, I suppose. Now they're able to grieve together. It's adorable. Roswell. Yes. Welcome back. Yes. That's right. I'm back, Beatrice. Aww. Aww. Show her face. Show Echidna's face. Hang on. One more thing. Show Echidna's face real quick. They've been cheesing it. Hang on. Huh. She looks different. She looks different. What's that supposed to mean? What's that supposed to mean? Okay. She looks different. Okay. Wait. Hang on. Wait, 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 wait. So, wait a second. What if there was two echidnas this whole time? What, am I crazy? <laughs> I think I'm I'm going crazy from this fucking show. So Echidna looks different. Okay. Huh. Whatever. Whatever. Season three. That's season three material right there, right? Whatever. Maybe we didn't know Echidna at all. Fuck you. <laughs> Get out of here. So done with you. <laughs> Get out of here, Akina. Gross. Gross, bro. <laughs> Gross. We got a whole episode to just talk, don't we? Look at the little snow pucks. They still haven't come out. Yeah, but I'm sure they're fine. You trust Beatrice so well now. Guess you two are always good friends, huh? Both now and back then, I'd have reservation about calling us friends. Is that Puck? Got a new sim plume bob, new home. I'd like to thank him for his help, but that won't work, right? Guess he overdid it a bit. Even having this stone to occupy him isn't enough to wake him up. He'll definitely call him back someday, though, right? Eh? Oh, look at this cute ass girl. You've changed, Amelia Tan. You're stronger now. If I have, it's thanks to you and everyone else. Subaru, don't downplay your own achievements, man. You've changed too. I need to get to a point where I can give back to everyone soon. I feel like all I ever do is take two. Oh, she's blushing. <laughs> By the way, Subaru, you know. Huh, your face just turned red super fast. Even the ears turn red. <laughs> I'm okay. Totally fine. Anyway, there's something important I wanted to discuss. You're weirdly formal now. <laughs> You, so you said that you, you loved me, right? Huh, yes, I did. I love you a whole lot. That, um, makes me really, really happy. But I wanted to have a proper talk. She rejecting you? Bro, is she rejecting you after all we've been through? About, well, the baby I'm carrying in my belly. Why, Amelia? Okay, 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 Union. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? There's no, there's no fucking baby in there. 
Is there? I mean, this is Re Zero. This is not Kano Suba, man, where it's played off for a joke. Ain't no way, bro. Ain't no way. Whose child is it? Bro, I'm about to lose my fucking shit with this show. I'm so done. What baby, Amelia? What baby? Pardon? Pa pardon? I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. She's serious? I know I have to take good care of it. I don't know anything about this kind of thing. She's serious? I know I had to talk to the father. What the fuck? She's serious? No. No, she's not serious. She's not serious. No. No way. No way. No way. Are you lying? No, she's like joking, right? This is a joke. Right? She's joking. She's testing you, right? Amelia 10. Babies don't get carried to you by storks or growing cabbage fields. But when a boy and a girl kiss it makes a baby. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course, of course, of course. God damn it, Amelia. God damn it. The baby. The baby. The baby. The baby. The baby. When a boy and a girl kiss, it makes a baby. <laughs> My sides. <coughs> My sides. I can't take this shit, man. Oh. <laughs> Best scene in the series. I'm like... <laughs> Forget all those emotional scenes. This is the best scene in the show. Ah, uh, uh, let's go. Continue. <laughs> oh, it hurts. Remember how I said my ribs hurt? <laughs> they hurt again. Oh. Oh. I'm, I'm calm. I'm calm. I'm calm. I'm calm. Eat. Regain sustenance. Let's do this. <coughs> Puck, why are you teaching Amelia the wrong things? Puck is just trolling. <coughs> yes! Yes, Garfield! Yes! Yes! More! More! <laughs> Damn! There we go. That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. There we go. Atonement for Russell. I'd like to talk about where we go from here. Well, sure, you'd be pissed, though. Don't be silly. Even I don't think Russell Summer has nothing to apologize for. But it's my own choice to treat him with kindness and respect after he's paid for. Your bizarre taste! <laughs> with a wound in that grave, what would have happened if I wasn't there, I suppose? I ain't gonna change your mind. But boss, are you seriously saying this bastard is one of us now? Time to join Team Subaru! <laughs> Garfield's got a point, though. Still, we need Roswell's strength. Boss. Maybe they can't compete in the Royal Selection without his support. True, he's the, he's the he's the supporter. We can't just say goodbye and send him off. I don't agree with this. I'm willing to forgive the master. The hell are you saying? That bastard put you in the mansion and... Regardless, I'm still alive. Because you saved me. That's just hindsight! I've been in master's care for more than 10 years. I've accepted his aid and... Achieving my own goals. I'm here today. Because I learned so much from him. Think your depth and your life are the same thing? He used you and Ramda. Um, sorry to interrupt this heated debate. It's natural that Garfield would be angry. I did technically take part in the purification ritual too. Technically, but you were the one throwing some pretty hardcore punches too. I believe your concern is when and where I might become your enemy again. But you need to worry about that. 
Think I'm gonna trust a damn word you say? <laughs> I suppose not. So, I will prove it to you in a form that you can't see. What is that? You painted your chest? This is an oath sealed with a curse, and an oath binds an individual. I lost my battle. Therefore, per my oath, I cannot harm any of you. Wait, so did Subaru's bet do that? Whoa! <laughs> I like the sound of that. <laughs> that was the bet? What would have happened if Subaru lost? This mark would have been engraved on you, and if you broke the promise, you would be burned to ashes. But still, it means we're also okay, Petraeus. Garfield, what do you say? Well, that's perfect. Young Gar. What happened to Shima was her own choice. Ah, What happened to young Ross? It was necessary for one of us to act as a key to undo the barrier. Shima said that she was not lonely these past 10 years. Because she had you. I know. Quit looking like you're about to cry, Grandma. Swear it, Rosswall. Swear you'll never do that shit you've done again. Swear it. Never again shall I attempt to sacrifice anyone here in order to achieve something else. There we go. He's learning. I swear upon the soul of my beloved teacher. What soul? She has no soul. Oh, please. I have no soul. <laughs> Not me. I can't forgive you. I tried to do something awful to the people of the village. They all trusted you and then you... Thought you were a good person too! Your words cause me pain. But... I don't want to be stubborn and make things harder for everyone. You made a child cry, Roswell! Good job! <laughs> Petra said, suck my dick, Roswell. <laughs> Never forgiving your ass. I'm only agreeing for my sister, the old hag, and this little girl. Don't forget that. Of course. Anyone else got anything to say? I do. Okay, Amelia's hand. Got a chance to say anything you want. And I'll take you up on that and say this. You're all being very weird. <laughs> also hasn't even done the most important thing yet. Can't end the discussion before he's done that. Does that have something to do with that body on the bench? When you do something bad, you have to say, I'm sorry. Exactly. Say it. Say it. So what I said in the beginning, say it. Also, you said you swear on your teacher's soul. Isn't there something you should say before that? Roswell, did you even say that to them even once? I didn't hear it. <laughs> Apologize, Roswell. If you're gonna work with us from now on, it's the right thing to do as a human being. I'm sorry. Yay! He's learning to be human. <sighs> Back here again. Here we go. Here we go. Oh boy. <laughs> Get this shit off me! Look at Otto in his little suit, man. Look at Garfield. My boy's looking fun. Look at Subaru! Look at Subaru! The Mi Lode family is a branch of the Mathers family. And its leader, Annie Rose, is head over heels over Emilia Sama. What? And you wanted to say something to me? My goal is to reunite with my teacher. That's the woman who was in that coffin, right? Didn't you already- Do not misunderstand. I wish to reunite with a teacher whose blood flows, who breathes and houses soul. That is my desire and my dearest wish. Is there any way to do that? I've lost the Tomo wisdom and I've bound by a mark of oath. But I have no intention of giving up on my teacher. I will continue to keep my eye on you. You decided that you would lose nothing and pick up all the pieces. You will surely continue to be hurt from now on. Fine by me. Fine by Subaru. You will lose things over and over and each time you get them back, you will carry on with new invisible wounds. If I lost anyone, I will not hesitate to reduce everything to ashes. 
I will not compromise. Nothing can lead me back to my teacher, but you, Subaru-kun, and the path you walk. Hmm. He put all his hopes on you, Subaru. Look at her. Look at everyone's new outfits, man. Everyone's looking nice. We'll now begin the ceremony of the conferment of knighthood. Natsuki Subaru, come forward. Congratulations, Subaru-kun. You've earned the praise of a witch's disciple. You win. For today. <laughs> oh my god. We waited two seasons for this man. He's being knighted. Oh. Yes. Look at this. The sun that looks down upon a brilliant world. The stars that keep watch over a world when it sleeps. The wind. To the water. To the earth. To the light. The spirits that dwell in all things. The world will accept you and nurture you. The vast world in which you will be sent forth. The pride that supported you, protected you, and created you. May you find a way to live that will not shame all that watch over you. In a world that nurtures you. Brother, you're just crying. <laughs> the world that nurtures you and the pride that supports you. May you live as your heart dictates. Never fearing, never cowering, never hesitating. Have you the will to do all this? That's all the surroundings you, you have done? Do you swear you will with henceforth protect the one standing before you? On the sun, the stars, the spirits, the world, my pride. And on my father and mother, I swear it. I will protect you. I will grant your every wish. My name is Natsuki Subaru! Your night, Amelia, and yours alone. <laughs> this is nothing new, but you look so sexy and cute in that outfit. Fuck. Idiot. <laughs> Hey, we popping bottles tonight! We popping bottles, boys! <laughs> Subaru, so this is where you were. Oh, it's you, Amelia Tan. Thought some angel or fairy had come to get me. Being weird again. Drunk or something? <laughs> Told you before, I don't drink. Chad Baru. <laughs> See, you are drunk. <laughs> Getting along with Roswell? What were you talking about before the ceremony? I knew he was messing with you. So perceptive, Amelia Tan. I get the feeling things are going to be tougher than before. I think Ross was just afraid of forgetting everything he's done. That's why he acts like that to get everyone's attention. Honestly, he's such a child. You're amazing, Amelia Tan. Think so? Thanks. I think that about you too. I really do. You know, Subaru, there's something I want to say to my knight later. What a coincidence. There's a lot I want to say to you too. Smooth as fuck, man! As always, when the ceremony is over, I'll have an important talk. Will you come to my room? I'm a repeat offender when it comes to breaking promises. Won't you invite me to your room at night? Is breaking a promise even an option? No, it's not! <laughs> Sorry, I'm not sure what you're talking about. Can't wait to find out what we'll talk about. One evening might not be enough. That's important. Give you as many evenings as it takes. I'm your number one knight, okay? 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 Okay! okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Amelia Tan. No matter what you say, I'll never become disenchanted with you. What's important is the, isn't the beginning, or the middle, it's the end. Besides, no matter what started it, it's not like it's still the same now, right? How do you know? Look at how much things have changed, man! You were looking out over the hall, with those sweet eyes before. Seeing that made it obvious. If making that circle around you bigger, one of your reasons for wanting to work hard, 
Then I'll let your number one help you. You really don't mind if I rely on you? What do you think I promised you a minute ago? I want you to rely on me before anyone else. If there's anything I can help you with, I will. And if there's anything you don't understand, I'll think about it with you. These, these two, man! Alright, all my doubts are gone now. Subaru, your face looks so sweet right now. Wonder why. <laughs> Look at Garfield. He's learning what champagne is. And then Ram is showing off her corpse of a sister. Aww. I'm not paying attention to the dialogue. I'm just focusing on all the stuff that's happening, man. It's such a nice atmosphere, isn't it, Amelia Tan? Yes. I think this scene just might be my ideal. I'll never forget it. May I have this dance? Amelia Tan? Yeah! It's like a fairy tale, man. Beautiful. And now we just get nice little credits. Aww. They combed Garfield's hair for this, man. Oh, Ram, we'll get you back someday. I don't know. Oh, Yuki. <laughs> Petra's just having the time of her life. <laughs> she vibing. So is Beatrice. Beatrice vibing too. And then we got the two boomers enjoying, enjoying a nice drink together. <laughs> Yeah, she's gonna be interesting. What's with all the little girls, man? Why? What is with all the little girls in in power? <laughs> Chase someone else's life. I know who I am. No. Look at them. Look at them. And it ends, but not really. Because there's a season three that was announced as I was doing this. There's a season three coming out in what, like a year? But yeah, that was ReZero season two. I love this more than season one. It, it was losing me in the beginning, but then it hit me with like 12 amazing episodes all at once. I, I love this more than season one, but season one definitely did set up everything and the payoff in season two was beautiful. All right, for those who are sticking in, I'm going to get out all my thoughts I have about the show and I'll have my predictions for season three. Then I will uh, talk about why ReZero personally connected with me. All right, let's go. All right, here we go. Strap yourselves in, but first of all, let's just talk about ReZero. I didn't know what the hell I was in for when I started this series. I'm serious, I did not know. The only reason I wanted to do it was because I had heard about the show back when it first released. It was it was one of the big, big shows coming out during that time. I didn't watch it, and I just completely skipped out on it. Same with Kanosuba. So when I picked up Konosuba, I was like, you know, ReZero is like the, the other isekai that people like, right? So why don't I go watch that too? So I picked it up. Um, I had a feeling that ReZero was going to be more emotional than Konosuba. I definitely knew that. But I, d I did not expect. <laughs> I did not expect what I got, man. I, d I didn't. I didn't. I didn't know anything about this series. All I knew was rem and and felix that's 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 all i knew man going into it you know seeing subaru and amelia is like who the hell are these people <laughs> i would have guessed that felix was one of the main characters but that's what i thought when i when i started the show for some reason <laughs> let me just start from season one man i i definitely liked the character of subaru and and amelia straight off the bat like straight off the bat it was it was nice there was, there was a few, you know, there was a few things I didn't like, but, you know, overall, I did like the direction it was going. Then they introduced, you know, all of the people in the mansion. You got Roswell, Rem, Ram, Beatrice, Puck. 
I, I like them too, you know? I, I like all the characters in this show. I don't think there's a single character that I don't like. Wait. That rich bitch. Yeah, she's still out there. <laughs> yeah, I loved season one because all of the characters really did serve a purpose, you know? I felt like every single character was at least some way endearing. Even though we didn't know all everything about them. And as soon as we learn them, we start to feel sympathetic towards them and everything they've, they've been through, you know? And you sort of understand why they are the way they are. I just, I just love all the characters in the show. And one thing I didn't speak about th for this entire series is the character designs. The, the character designs are freaking great. Like, just a few honorable mentions. Um, I like Beatrice's design. I like Roswell's design. I like Amelia's design and I like character Echidna, Echidna's design. It's funny that I say Echidna, Rawlswan, Beatrice because they they were once like a little family. A family that drips together, stays together. I like their character designs a lot. I don't know why, I just wanted to point it out because I didn't really talk about the, the animation and the art but all the characters in the show look nice. I love the way everything is just, you know, drawn. I like all the colors they use, you know, every single character has like their own like color theming. Well, yes, characters have color. Wow. <laughs> very insightful. Yes, very insightful. But yeah, I just like all the color palettes. There's just a very colorful cast. Even in season two, I, I thought, you know, they're going to run out of original um, character designs. But no, all of the character designs are still great. Like every character has a, at least a little bit of variety, you know. And it's nice. Uh, what else? Music, music. Let's talk about music. I have <laughs> nearly all of the music from season two, part two in my playlist. And I, I, of course, have all of the openings, the ending themes. I have all the insert songs, you know. I mentioned in episode 23 that I, I immediately went to look up <laughs> the, the song that was used. Great soundtrack, great soundtrack. All of the songs fit, mostly, mostly. I, I, we could talk about that in like a, a ReZero song tier list video, which I'm gonna do. Yeah, I do like most of the songs. All, nearly all of the songs in this, in this show. So they did a good job on the soundtrack. Animation, they definitely upped, they definitely upped the, 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 the animation in this second season, you know. They got a budget now. Honestly, the finale of ReZero uh, season one, it didn't feel as grand as I, as I thought it'd be for, you know, a 25 episode series at that point. But, oh my god, they delivered on the fights in this, the fight with Garfield and Elsa, dude. I don't like a lot of action anime because a lot of the fights are usually pointless but with ReZero every fight I felt had a purpose behind it so I felt like no time was wasted with like you know shonen and like action anime they they just have fights to have fights you know to, to show off pretty much and sometimes they're just really pointless but I say that but I like Dragon Ball Z it's just the way you execute it I did like all of the fight scenes in this. I, I love the character arcs, man. I just I just love the character arcs. I didn't even realize we haven't even really got to know the characters like Roswell, Beatrice, freaking even Ram. Like these three went under the radar during season one. It's about Subaru and Rem in the first season. Then it's about Amelia, Roswell. Ram, Beatrice, our cast, our, our main cast, you know, that's my only problem with season one. It focused on a lot of stuff that can come later. They're probably just going by how it was written and they're going in like chronological order. Mm, but you can't have season, you can't have season two without the stuff that happened in season one, you know. I, I feel bad that you have to wait a whole season to see Amelia actually become a main character in her own show <laughs> because in season one you know she took the she took the uh backstage where it was mostly about subaru and rem the main characters sort of got pushed to the side and you know all their development got put in season two 
So you can get frustrated with Amelia in the beginning of season one. No, she hasn't had her character arc yet, but they addressed the issue with her pretty well, you know? She was really naive and like really innocent back in season one. And then season two, she's like grown up, man. She's grown up. She's like maturing. And that I think I think Amelia had the, the best the best growth. So did Beatrice, to be honest. Every character, man. I'm I'm glad that everyone got their character arcs. I'm glad we got all these new characters too. I I like all the new characters that were introduced in season two. They really did, you know, expand on the world. I, it took me a while to warm up to them. Even just having like Otto as a part of the main cast took me a while to, you know, warm up to. But they they feel at home now. They feel at home. It's like, welcome to the family. Shit. <laughs> yeah, I, I like this main cast of characters that we have. But I feel like if it grows any bigger, I'm not going to be able to keep up, man. We got characters like Garfield, Otto, uh, even Ryuzu. Ryuzu's, I, I don't, I don't know. They, they just fit right in. They just fit right into the cast. I'm like, here, welcome to the family. Even Petra, you know, even they gave Petra a larger role. She was just one of like five village kids, but now she's like actually like a part of the the story now. I, I like that they expanded the the main cast. I think the thing this I love the most about this series is. I think, I think just the character growth, you know? Like, there's only a few shows where I can say that the characters, like, changed. And it would be, you know, the ReZero cast with um, Season 2. There's very few shows that can pull off, like, a good change like that. I know there's a lot of shows out there where, like, the character becomes, like, all evil and worse over time. Like, the character becomes a worse person due to all the stuff they go through. But it's just nice to see these characters grow and develop so the trailer dropped as i was doing this uh, i haven't seen it yet i haven't seen it yet i don't really know if i should because i don't like i don't like trailers i don't like teasers i don't i really don't i like to hear that a show is coming out and then just watch it because trailers and teasers nowadays just spoil everything <laughs> like no joke they spoil everything and I know, I know there's already a manga out and it's like, it's like five arcs ahead or something. From what I've heard about the manga, we're entering arc five, either arc five or arc six or arc seven. I don't know, somewhere around there. But from what I heard, next season is going to be a bloodbath. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 it's not going to be as emotional but it's gonna be bloody. I, I I think it's gonna be straight out like more more action, more fighting, and I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. You know, I got my emotional fill in this season, man. I think I think shit's gonna get crazy. Also, from what I heard, season three takes place like a year after the events of season two. Like Subaru gets like a whole like year of downtime, rest. <laughs> my man needs it. God damn it. I said at the beginning of this season, this man needs a break, like, and I hope that's true. I hope it just doesn't start out with like, I don't know, the freaking, the building they're all dancing in to blow up. Like, I hope they did get like, like some time to rest, man. Every character's just been through a lot and they deserve it. They deserve it. Yeah, I, I do hope that there's a little bit of a time skip. Royal selection. That's, that's, that's our only plot line, you know? And now things can proceed a lot more smoothly, but I feel like there's a lot of people who still don't like Amelia. <laughs> like a lot of people. <laughs> Remember the characters we got introduced to in season one? Yeah, they're coming back. That means Borgir, Borgir's coming back, Chad Wolf. All the all the capital people, you know, like Reinhard, Felt. There's there's still a lot of questions there, man. Like you still abducted a child. We'll get to it. We'll get to him. We'll get to Reinhardt. He'll he'll catch a case. He'll catch his case in, in season three. No worries. I don't really trust Reinhardt all that much. <laughs> like, he's not cool anymore, dude. I remember I was all like, Reinhardt this, Reinhardt that back in season one. But he is not cool, man. <laughs> he's not that cool. Subaru is the man now. Subaru is the man of the house now. Dude, I, and Julius, man. He needs to see, Subaru needs to see his other friends again you know F felix F julius it'll be good to have them back 
How do I feel about Rem's coma? Uh, I don't know. I, I feel like it's a, it's a, it's a plot device, but it was good to just take Rem out of the story, you know? She has had a whole season to change and grow. She, she, she's out. If, do I want her to return in season three? Maybe, but how would that work? She's missed out on a lot. <laughs> a lot has happened since, since she, she went in that coma, man. So she's going to be shocked, especially she's going to be shocked when, you know, she sees Subaru and Amelia all kissy kissy. <laughs> it's going to cause some drama. No, it isn't. I think she, she would be fine with it, but damn, it would be a shock. But I think she's coming back some, some, someday. Yuki will return.